Easter Bon is going to be beautiful. Yes, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. We're hello. just making an Easter bonnet. Yes, I'm going to wear it in the Easter egg hunt this afternoon. Mm, Mr Slater's put me in charge of an Easter egg hunt for the children's club. And if it goes well, he's going to give me extra wages. Get it? Extra. <laughs> I wonder how Sooty and Sweep are getting on making the hot cross buns. Oh no! Ew! Just look at all this mess. You've been making hot cross buns. You've been making a mess more like. You pesky boys. You can't be trusted with anything. So we don't have any hot cross buns. And we still haven't bought the eggs to hide for the Easter hunt. You'll take the camper van and fetch some? Oh, good idea, Sooty. We can buy some from the farm. Come on, let's get the eggs. All right, but don't shell out too much money. <laughs> Shell out. Shell out. I'm on form today. <laughs> OK, then, sweet. Let's crack on. Ah! Crack on! Oh, there's no stopping me. Right, we need to get this mess cleaned up. Go and fetch the dustpan and brush. Oh, dear. Right. Sweep, sweep. Sweep, sweep. <laughs> there's your brush. Get rid of the flour. Come on, in you go. That's it. Oh, oh! <laughs> Careful. Sweep the old flour into the dustpan. Go on. Gently. That's it. Off you go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, we can't use this old flour, so go on, throw it away. Yes, throw it away. Throw it. <laughs> Is that what I meant? Not really. Right then, sweet, let's make hot cross buns! <laughs> First, we're going to need to make some dough. Can you fetch the ingredients? Yes, that would be very helpful, thank you. Right, we need fresh flour. Fresh flour! <laughs> Not that kind of fresh flour, bone brain. Fresh baking flour. Baking flour. Off you go. Baking flour. He's a few crumbs short of a crouton, that one. <laughs> ah, that's it. Pop it in there. Good boy, good boy. Now we're going to need to mix water in with the flour. Can you fetch the water? Yes, please. Do you know, at last, I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, no, sweet. No, 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 no. No, that's not water. That is a... <laughs> Hose pipe. <laughs> Sooty and Sue, isn't it? Yes. Well, I must say it's very nice to see you here today. How can I help? Oh, you need some eggs for your Easter hunt. Yes, please. Well, you've come to the right place. All the eggs are just down there with the Easter chicks and Easter bunnies. Take as many as you need. Thank you. You're very kind. Come on, Sooty. <laughs> How's it going, sweet? <laughs> Nearly finished making the dough. Oh, and it's looking good. <laughs> Don't do that. Well, we'll just have to use a fresh piece now, won't we? And we have to knead it. Yes, I want you to knead the dough. What do you mean I need you? Oh, come here, you nitwit. I'll do it. And add in some currants. Go on. Ha ha. Right, go on, knead it, sweep. You can do it now. Uh, sweep? This packet hasn't been opened. Where did you get the currants from? From the rabbit hutch. Start again. Easter chick sooty. Come on, sooty. Thanks for the eggs. Bye. 
There we go, sweep. A lovely batch of hot cross buns made with uh, real currants. Now there's only one thing left to do. What's that? We have to make the cross. Sweep, sweep, where are you going? Sweep, just a minute. Sweep, sweep, what are you doing? You're making them cross. No, I said you have to make the cross, not make them cross. You see, all hot cross buns have a white cross for decoration. He'll have to go. Hello. Oh, hi, you two. Wow, look at all those eggs. Yes, they had plenty to spare, so the farmer said we could take the lot. That is brilliant. Now, all we've got to do is hide them for the children to find. <laughs> What's that? Can you hide them? Well, um, your egg-experienced egg hiders. <laughs> Your experts. All right, all right, all right. You can hide the eggs. And I'll stay here and finish these buns. Come on then, boys. Scramble. <laughs> Scramble. <laughs> Scramble eggs. <laughs> yes? No? No. is what proper hot cross bun should smell like. Oh, oh it's Mr Slater. Um, hello, Mr Slater. I, oh, yes, we're all ready. My costume's ready to collect. It'll put a spring in my step. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I just... Uh, oh, he's gone. Oh, well, I'll just go and collect my cosy and then we can start the Easter egg hunt. Excellent! <laughs> I'll just make my exit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Slater's Easter Egg Hunt! And without further ado, allow me to present your host for this afternoon. Here to rub it on is our very own Easter Bunny, Richard! <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Welcome, hunters! Once you've found your egg, take it to Sooty or Sweet to claim your prize! Hooray! On your marks, get set, go! You know, you have done a fantastic job. So as a little reward, I've got for you chocolate Easter eggs. <laughs> There's one for you, Sooty, one for you, Sweet, and one for you, Sue. Oh, wow. Thank you, Richard. No, thank you, Sue. <laughs> what, Sooty? Do you think I deserve something, too? Mm. No. <laughs> Easy, Weezy. Let's get busy. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. That looks delicious. Do you know, this has turned into the best Easter ever. Delicious hot cross buns and fantastic weather, smiley faces, and for once, nothing's gone wrong. You know, it's been cracking. <laughs> cracking. Cracking eggs. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. 
<laughs> you are so right, Sooty. That makes Richard one hot cross bunny. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm just off to deliver all these leaflets to all the other caravans. It's Mr Slater's new money-making scheme. It's a pizza delivery service, so it's another busy day for me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the finest fashion show in the world. And now we're about to see my new autumn collection. Oh, sooty! What have you done to her? Beards and boots indeed. Get it off. <laughs> and now, our next lady, who I'm told will be out of this world. <laughs> sweep, sweep, what are you doing? <laughs> She's out of this world? Yes, but painting her green to make her look like an alien is not what I wanted, you toasty dog. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> the grand finale of the Sue Collection. Please welcome one of the most beautiful women in the world, modelling stunning swimwear. Oh, a gorilla in a bikini! You two boys, you just don't take fashion seriously. Unlike my hero. Look, look, Valentino du Prado, world famous fashion designer. Oh, if only I could be like him. Well, we're open for business. Ooh, that could be an order now. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, Mr. Slater. Yes, the telephone lines are now open. They better be quality pizzas or I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Ooh, actually, I'm not worried, because I have hired two fantastic Italian chefs to cook the pizzas. Oh, yes. Only Signor Sottini and his assistant, Sweet Pacino. They should be here any minute now. <coughs> oh, no. It's you, is it? <coughs> You're experts. Experts. Well, I hope you two know what you're doing. Now, where's my pizza delivery girl? Sue! Sue! <gasps> oh, you look really nice in your uniform. Huh. No, I don't. I'm a disaster, darling. I mean, look at this hat. It's so last year. I can design a much better outfit. If you'd just like to look at my fashion magazine, then I can show... Sue, maybe later. Right now, you've got a very important job. You've got pizzas to deliver! What can be more important than fashion? Humph. Now, boys, let's get this straight. Do you actually know how to work this pizza-making machine? <coughs> Would I like a demonstration? <coughs> Go on, then. Impress me. First customer. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. One ham and pineapple, certainly, sir. You better get making the pizzas, Sooty. Oh, uh, hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Six pepperonis. Sooty, you better get making those pizzas as quick as you can. Oh. Hello, Slater's Pizza Deliveries. Oh, three Hawaiians. Oh, Sooty, you better get busy. <laughs> Up, you're supposed to be putting the pizzas in the boxes. <coughs> Sausage brain. We can't use those now, sweet. We'll just have to make some more. Sooty, we've just had an order for another 12 pizzas. Oh, hello. Hello, Slater's Pizza <coughs> Delivery. <coughs> what? Four ham and pineapple? <laughs> quick, Sooty, get a move on. We need those pizzas double quick. Hello, Slater's Pizza Delivery. What's that? Four meat feasts? Yes, no problem. Hello, Slater's Pizza Delivery. Six chicken specials and a veggie. A five sir. Hello? Slater's Delivery? Hello? Hello? Richard, can I show you my fashion ideas 
for our uniforms, please. Not now, Sue. We've got lots of pizzas to deliver. <sighs> Boys, don't do that. I wonder if Valentino de Prado has to put up with anything like this. <sighs> Hello, Valentino speaking. I, Valentino, I know you want to know where I am, but yes. I, I not tell you. Please, I cannot take the pressure no more. Uh, I come on holiday to come away from the fashion world. The thing, we no, find the you no, are. I not tell you. It's very it's very you will never find, find me. The they will never find me here. so they don't get cold. Oh, what's this then? It's a super fast pizza delivery machine. Well, how does it work? Ooh. for six pizzas at Caravan 34. for it. I'll have to do it myself. Right, uh, what do we need? Uh, sausages, that'll be good. Cheese, very important for a pizza. Tomato, there we are. Oh, let's just put it all in. Right, here we go. Let's get busy. Mamma mia! These are incredible! I must find out who make this. Um, why is that? They are fantastical! <gasps> Look, I think going to be a real hit this season. I think a real must. A must? More like a thin crust. <gasps> Wait a minute! I don't believe it! You're Valentino du Prado. Shh, 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 shh. This is not important. I must find out who is the designer of these beautiful hats. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> it is you. There is no doubt about it, young lady. You have a big future in the world of fashion. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this pizza machine. Maybe I've not put enough ingredients in. That could be it. Because you can never have too much of a good thing. <laughs> right. Now let's really crank it up. <laughs> Magnifico. These are fantastic. I think. These had to be a real sensation. Hooray! I said I'd be an international fashion designer one day. Oh, Sue, I, I love the hat. Such a great design. But uh, I think the suit uh, is too much. Suit? What suit? I didn't make a suit. 
Oh, oh, looks like dinner's on rich. <laughs> It'll look like he could use a little uh, pizza and a quiet, huh? <laughs> oh, hello there. Mr. Slater has asked us to run his new restaurant, and we're just expecting a delivery of fresh fish. Excuse me, look at my face. Well, what are you going to do about it? Stop! 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 Don't do that! Stop! If you don't mind, I'm expecting a fresh fish delivery from the fishmonger. Oh no, it's you two, is it? You're expert. Well, where's the fish? You haven't caught any yet. Well, why not? Because Sweet got up late. Well, didn't you set your alarm clock? He turned it off. Why did you turn it off? <coughs> it wakes you up. Look, today is a very important day for our five-star restaurant, Chez Su, because the very important restaurant critic, Maxine Gastro, is coming here for lunch, and she's a very close friend of Mr. Slater's. So if she doesn't get a nice fresh fish to eat, I'm going to get the sack. You'll go and catch some? Well, have you got any bait? <coughs> What's that for? <coughs> Catfish. <coughs> What's that for? <coughs> Tuna. Don't tell me. Soul. Hey, sweet, be careful. Oh, oh it's Mr. Slater. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, what's that? Mrs. Gastro's going to be here any minute. If she doesn't get five star service, I'll get the sack. Well, I... Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. It's Mrs. Gastro. She's early. Uh, quick. Take this walkie-talkie and contact me as soon as you catch a fish. Well, go on, go, quick, quick. There we are, my good man. Mrs. Gastro, <laughs> welcome to Shea Sue. <laughs> Please enter. <laughs> oh, 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 Mrs. Gastro, are you all right? I'm so sorry. Oh, Mr. Slater will hear about this. Oh, the food had better be good. I fancy a nice piece of fish. Oh, so do I. Just uh, make yourself at home and Sue will welcome you. <laughs> Hello, 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 can you hear me? Of course I can. 
Well, where are you? Standing next to you. Hey, hold on, Sue. What do you mean you're standing next to me? It's me, Sue. I'm right here. Wait a minute, Sue. What do you mean it's me, Sue? I'm right here. Oh, <laughs> jolly well get that fish order very quickly. Where's the waiter? <laughs> I think Mrs. Gastro's ready to order, Richard. <laughs> I'll be right with you, Mrs. Gastro. <laughs> um, how may I be of service, madame? Tell me, is there any fish on the menu today? Uh, uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Did you know that rock salmon is a dogfish? It happens to be one of my favourites. <coughs> oh, So, I'm very partial to a nice soul. Have you any soul today? Uh, I'll have to find out for you, Mrs. Gastro. Or do I have to phone Mr. Slater? Uh, no! Uh, one soul, coming up! It had better be. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Gastro. Your soul won't be too long. In the meantime, do have some more bread. Merci beaucoup. Oh, bless you. I'll get you a tissue. Hello, hello. Come in. Can you hear me? Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, don't just say hello. Say something. Something. Have you caught anything? Yes! 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 Sweep, we need a soul. Is it a soul? Have you caught lots? Lots and lots? Well done! We'll bring everything you've caught to the restaurant! Yes! Everything and hurry up! Where's my soul? It's on its way, Mrs. Castro. Meanwhile, is there anything else I can get for you? Uh, ah, ah, have some more bread. Bread? More bread. Some bread? Expecting it any minute, Mrs. Gastro. Oh, it's just arrived! This I have to see! Uh -huh. These are our exclusive fishmongers, Sooty and Sweep. Have you got my fish? Sooty, show Mrs. Gastro her soul. What is the meaning of this? I don't want the soul of an old boot! Sooty, where's the fish? <laughs> What do you mean, what fish? You didn't catch any fish. You didn't catch any fish. You didn't catch any fish. <laughs> they didn't catch any fish. <laughs> well, what did you catch? Mm. Hold on a minute. Oh, no. I expect you're going to phone Mr. Slater. Oh, indeed I am. I must have lost my purse when I tripped over getting out of the taxi and your two worthy fishermen, Sooty and Sweep, have found it and returned it safely to me. <coughs> Indeed you have. <coughs> I must phone Mr Slater and tell him what a brilliant restaurant this is. Oh, well done, boys. <coughs> yes, top job, Sooty. <coughs> What's for dinner? <coughs> well, there's no fish. Oh, what a shame. But as a reward, I am treating you all to fish and chips. I know a brilliant chippy. Come on. Now that is what I call the perfect fish in the 
perfect batter. <laughs> bread, anyone? Oh, <laughs> Sue! <laughs> Pass the bread, please, Sooty. <laughs> Now Richard's just like our fish. Well and truly battered. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>